Hi guys, it's Stephanie and I am back at home and I am ready to do our daily Disney devotional. Today is number 49 and it is called Journey into Imagination with Figment. We've done both attractions here at the Seas Pavilion, but take some time and just enjoy the aquarium as well. There's so much to see and learn. After that, let's head across Future World West to what is called Imagination Pavilion and visit the last two attractions in that area. Today, we're going to do the one that is an actual ride. It's a pretty simple ride, but a personal favorite of our family, especially my wife. She's been visiting Disney longer than I have and has pretty much been every year of her life and then some. She's got me beat with close to 60 visits throughout her life. Wow. I love his wife. I don't know her, but she's awesome. She personally loves this ride and insists that we ride it every time, which I don't mind obliging. It's called Journey into the Imagination with Figment. This is another basic ride where the guests board a tram-like vehicle for transport to the science lab to study the body's five senses. Along the way, the tour is interrupted by Figment, a small purplish dragon who keeps messing up the planned tour with his own agenda. This ride has had three names over the years, but it has always kept a similar format. From 1993 to 1998, it was known simply as Journey into the Imagination. From 1999 to 2001, it was called Journey into Your Imagination. And finally, in 2002, it was changed to the current version, which included Figment in the title. The current version includes one song, One Little Spark, which was written by the famous Sherman Brothers. This is one of three Disney attractions to emit a foul odor. A skunk in this case. Can you think of the other two? One is the Bugs Life film in Animal Kingdom and the other is Stitch's Great Escape at Magic Kingdom. <clears throat> the first version of this ride included a human character called the Dream Finder. When the ride was changed in 1999, many were sad to see this character go and still hold grudges <laughs> to this day that he hasn't returned. The ride also uses a notable butterfly illustration that guests tend to remember. It would be, it, it's used to be, oh, sorry. It used to be that the butterfly would appear from nothing when your car passed by. Now the butterfly disappears when you pass. This illusion is done with a mirror in the middle that is invisible to the riders. I do, sorry, turning the page, <laughs> awkward. I do enjoy this attraction. It's simple, but creative and fun. As I mentioned previously, it takes you through a science lab to study the five senses. You only get to experience three of the five before the tour is cut short by figment. Let's think about all five of the senses for a second. Can you name them all? Sight, smell, taste, hearing, and touch. How can we apply these five senses to our spiritual lives? Easy. The Bible actually talks about all five of our senses and how we should use each one of them to worship the Lord our God. Consider the following verses. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I have something in my eye. Psalms 34, 8 says, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is, it, blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. 1 John 1, 1 says, at that which was seen, sorry, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard and which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands concerning the whole, the word of life. Ephesians 5, 2 says, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering, a sacrifice to God. There are so many other verses that we could look at, but the point is that we can worship and follow God using all five of our senses. Consider these questions. Do you look for God in all that you do? 
Do you listen for God each day? Do you use your hands to do good works of Christ to serve others? Do you smell for danger and try your best to avoid sin? Do you use your mouth to taste how sweet God is and then tell others about him? The Figment Ride is quite unique. It definitely has some surprises that are pleasant and some that are not so much. It is also definitely, it also definitely makes you consider the use of your five senses that God has given you. We use these five senses every day repeatedly to survive and live a fulfilling life. Next time you ride, consider if you are using all five of your senses to the fullest extent to worship God. Make sure that you're doing just that. Additionally, consider that even though our heart isn't one of the five, make sure you're giving your full heart to God. That's where he belongs and that's where he will be if we use all five of our senses to truly know him and invite him into our lives. Thank you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.